Hey guys, Afro CCW here, and I'm gonna bring you a video. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, so let me turn on the autofocus, and let's take a look at some stuff that I got. <coughs> um, just recently, I picked up a couple of knives. Actually, this one I bought, and this one was a gift because uh, yesterday was my birthday, and my girlfriend got me this uh, Swiss Army knife. Uh, I think it's the Super Tinkerer, and uh, this is the case that comes with it. And then I bought this with some of my birthday money. It's a Columbia River Knife and Tool Cruiser, or CRKT, as you guys know them by. You can see the box for it. So um, let's take a look at this one first, because this is the first one that I got. Here's the box for it. Um, they're really basic boxes, just a little cardboard box, recyclable cardboard box, with a price tag on it. Look at that price tag. 70 bucks. I did not pay nearly $70. I paid $20 for this knife, actually on sale at Big Five. It was on, yeah, it was a really good sale. Um, and in there, it comes with a secondary pocket clip, and there's a, an extra guitar pick in there for some reason. I don't like these guitar picks, but uh, it comes with a secondary pocket clip and screws for it, because this pocket clip can be mounted on both sides and tip up or tip down. <coughs> so uh, yeah, that's what it all comes with. And uh, it's a really nice knife. Uh, it's really strong lock up. It's got their lock safety, which doesn't let you undo the, the leaf spring safety without pulling that back first. It's not the auto lock, so you have to manually push it forward, which I like better. Um, it's really, it's a really handy feature. It's not exactly going to make it as strong as a fixed blade like they may try and claim, but it is definitely a good safety feature to have. Um, so that's that knife. I'll be doing like an actual full review on that in the future once I get more experience with it. Like I've said, I've only had it for like two, two or three days. And this uh, I just received less than an hour ago. Um, and this is a Swiss Army knife Victorinox uh, Tinkerer, Super Tinkerer, I think. And um, take a look at the case first. It's got this case with a belt clip or a pocket clip, waistband clip, whatever. And um, it's not too like strong, but it's got like a really big like, or like the indent is kind of large for it. So once it's on your belt, it won't come off too easily. Plus the knife's not very heavy, so there's not enough weight for it to really pull off by itself. Um, so that's nice because it's easy to take on and off. And it seems to have secured nicely. I didn't even have it on a belt and it was holding on to my waistband pretty nicely. And you can see that it's got elastic in the sides to hold the knife tight. And a little button snap. Yeah, it's already latched on there. And it's got the Victorinox logo on the leather. As you can see there. Pretty sweet. So, uh, let's take a look at the knife. Um, this is just a standard plastic one. You can already tell I've been messing with it a lot because it's covered in fingerprints. Um, it's got a lot of tools. It has like 14, I think, tools in there. It's got the uh, reamer or leather punch with like the sewing hole in it and whatnot. Um, it's got this carrying hook, which is a little hard to get out because the, the ring, the lanyard ring is kind of in the way. Let me see if I can get it out with one hand. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, there we go. So it's got this carrying ring, which uh, they say, like, yeah, you can use it as, like, a handle and then pick something up and hold it like that and then get a better grip on something that has, like, rope or something. Maybe something that you have tied up with fishing line or something like that. I don't know. But, or, like, like paracord. It looks like it might be big enough to, yeah, it's big enough to put, fit paracord in there. So it'll just give you a better handle. It's got the screwdriver, and behind that screwdriver, let me get it out. Um, if you have like a pin, there's a hole right there for a little like pin. Oh, come on. See that hole? And then if you put a pin in there and close the screwdriver, there's a gap where the head of the pin will still stick out, and the screwdriver will hold the pin in there. Really handy. 
Uh, let me see if I can get that leather punch or the all out or the reamer. There's the Swiss Army knife reamer. Um, yeah, it's a lot of really, really handy tools. I'm gonna stop pulling them out and just I'll probably show them all in a later video. But it's got two blades in it, scissors, and a couple screwdrivers and a can opener. And they all work really well. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still alive and I'm gonna continue making some uh, knife videos and stuff. I also got a guitar for my birthday. I bought this from a friend for $120. You can buy them new for about the same price, but this was more, uh, this was easier to come by <laughs> instead of having to pay for shipping and whatnot. So, yeah, this is uh, kind of my birthday loot. So, you put this back in its box. Put this knife back in its little carry holster. Do do do. There we go. And yeah, super sweet. So yeah, it's a handy little package. You can just stick it straight onto a pocket if you want to. It'll hold on right there. If you want to take it off, it's not too hard to pull off. You can throw it on your waistline. And I was wearing it like this earlier today. So yeah, it's a handy little package. And they're not too expensive, as far as I believe. This knife is not too expensive if you find it on sale. And it is strong. I have it in right hand tip down carry. Or tip up carry, sorry. Because that's the way I like it. Anyways, I'll get full reviews on both of these knives later. For now, this was an after CCW video. And I'm out of here, guys. Peace.